The next feature is the leaving group. And for SM1 and SM2 reactions, the leaving group has to leave. So a better leaving group is going to make for a faster SM1 or SM2 reaction. And keep in mind, when the leaving group leaves, it comes off as leaving group minus. The more stable that species is, the more easily it can come off, making it a faster reaction. So let's look at a few. I'm going to put down here at the bottom of my list alcohols and amines. So those are terrible leaving groups. OH and NH2, you generally are not going to lose those. Likewise for your halides, fluorides tend to not be very good leaving groups. But outside of the fluorides, the rest of the halides tend to be good leaving groups. So we can have chlorides, bromides, or iodides. And then one new one, this OTS, which is called a tosylate. And we're going to spend some time looking at that next. But in the realm of these leaving groups here, as you go from the chloride to the tosylate, you're increasing the leaving group ability. So you already know why this is. Um, so I'm going to leave out the tosylate for now, but just comparing the chloride to the iodide, think back to what you learned with acids and bases. When you lose the chloride leaving group, you get Cl minus. When you lose the iodide leaving group, you get I minus. In terms of size, the Cl is relatively small. The I is much larger. For that reason, the negative charge is more spread out and it's more stable. If it's more stable, it leaves the molecule more easily.